Hey everyone, and welcome to Don't Starve, a survival crafting game. I really hope you guys like this, and if you do, check out some of the links down below. Uh, so I started playing a little bit, there's a bunch of different characters you can play as. I only have Wilson unlocked right now. You unlock the different characters by surviving longer in the world. And you can mess with the seed of that world by adding more or less of these things. As you can see, we can change the world size, we can change the length of day, uh, how often lightning strikes or how many beefalo there are on the map. Uh, you just, you, you can basically control everything. I like to um, make the, uh, the first, the overworld not too challenging, since you always have to keep coming back to it. Like once, we're gonna, we're gonna do the story, we're gonna do the adventure mode, um, and if something happens where we fail during the adventure mode, we get sent right back to uh, the overworld. So we don't want a overworld that's too impossible to survive. But I'm just gonna set a couple more things, and then you know what? I think that's it. I think I think we're ready to go. That guy is Maxwell. If you want to learn more about him and more about the story of the game, check out this down below. Alright, well, if you've ever played any other survival crafting game before, you know the first thing we gotta do is just collect as much raw material as possible. Um, there's a couple core mechanics to learn about this game. Uh, for starters, up in the, the top right here, we have uh, our clock, which shows us what day it is, what time of day it is. Right now, it's day one, and it's daytime. You can see that by the yellow. Uh, the red will be dusk, and that blue is going to be nighttime. We need to set up a fire before nighttime. So you can see I just made an axe, and now I can chop down trees. You can make an axe by combining sticks and flint. Um, as you can see, I've picked up other things as well. We got some, we just picked up some poop there. That would be really useful later on. Um, we got grass. We got, I picked some flowers before. Uh, we got berries. We eat berries. Um, so yeah, you need to, you need to eat, uh, to keep your hunger up. And you need to also keep your sanity up as well. Um, that's why I've been picking flowers. Yeah, see this thing, that, that will help with our sanity, long run. Uh, it'll keep us from going too crazy. And if you go crazy, you start to, um, get attacked by shadows. And there's no real way to keep, like, to fight back against shadows. You, you can swing, and it kind of, you can swing, like, your axe or your spear or whatever, and it kind of pushes them back, keeps you from getting attacked more. But, uh, it, it's really a losing battle to fight, so it's, it's very important that you keep your sanity as high as you can, as long as possible. Uh, and with that being said, yeah, we can build this thing and wear this, and now I have a lovely flower hat that keep me sane. It's going to start getting dark soon, so we're going to need to start exploring and find a place where we're going to want to maybe set up camp for the night. At nighttime, you, it's really important that you get a fire down as, uh, before the dark hits, because once, once darkness falls, it's impossible to see anything. Um, and, and make sure you have some food to survive the night, because if you don't have anything, you'll be starving by morning. And it's also a good way to keep your sanity up, because your sanity drops at night, uh, even with the fire. Ooh. Oh, that thing's a wormhole. We're going to... We'll come back to that later on. Uh, it can just put us anywhere else on the map, wherever the other end of the wormhole is, and we don't know... You know, we don't know where, and we're not prepared to fight. Um, I've also been... These seeds are really good, too, because you can eat them raw, you can cook them and eat them, or you can use them for uh, making making a farm and growing vegetables, which we're going to, to need... Oh, my God! This is a pig, uh, pig village. Okay, so there are pigmen, and you know what, this is a great place to set up camp for the night. Uh, so pigmen are mostly pretty cool. They're, they're tough pig, giant pig men. 
Um, the other problem is you gotta be careful. You don't want to build like your main. Oh shit, spiders! Uh, we're gonna run this way. Hopefully he doesn't follow me. Um, so yeah, you don't want to build your main camp too to a pigman village because sometimes pigmen turn into like. Ooh, I got a grass skirt now to go with my flower hat. Um, sorry. So yeah, as I was saying, you don't want to build your main camp too close to pigmen because sometimes they turn into werewolf pigmen and they will attack you and destroy all your things. Uh, the first time that happened to me, it was pretty awful. Um, okay, so here comes the night. I got enough poop to keep me going, so I think we'll be okay. Um, and I got a torch too, so if, uh, if our fire here burns out, we can, uh, keep it, keep the light going. Uh, so nighttime's always a little scary. Right now things aren't too bad because I'm not crazy. Um, let's see, where should we go? I think, I think we're gonna head back down the way we came and check out this whole block over here. And then, um, um... And then, yeah, we need to find a place to set up uh, our main camp. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my, uh, my new torch, and we're gonna try and get an early start. Uh, so this way, you know, we have a fresh start on day two. Uh, you wanna try and get out as, as quickly as possible early on, because you really need to gather as many resources as possible. Uh, mushrooms are, uh, you know, you can eat those, but they they don't really help you by themselves. They're really best if you uh, if you mix them with other food in a crock pot, which is another device we'll get to later on. So I feel like that covers most of the basics, though. Um, I don't think there's anything else that you guys need to know right now. Oh, okay, so here's some, some bunnies. Uh, you can put traps on bunny holes, and that will catch them, and then you can catch them and eat them. And that's a great way to help survive the winter. You know, this this spot right here looks pretty good, actually, for a main base camp. Um, because it's kind of off, t it's, it's surrounded by water on most sides, so enemies can only attack from one end. So, you know, I'll, I'll keep that in mind where that is. We need stone. We need to find stone before we can build a, a fire pit. Um, so I'll collect some of this wood, and I'll see where maybe I can find some stone. I don't know. Hmm. We haven't run into any yet. Maybe... I guess we'll, we'll try going this way. Um, later on, if we don't find any in a while, I'll uh, check out those uh, wormholes. That was that was a spider nest. Avoid stepping on the spider web, and the spiders won't come out and attack you. Uh oh, crap! This is a walrus camp. <laughs> Walruses come during the winter, and they basically just hunt the player. So um, they they can be very very tough to deal with. I've never actually had to deal with any before, so I'm not sure. But we'll need. Uh, We'll need better armor and better weapons before that happens. Ah, here we go. Um, so I've already got my pickaxe, and we got some stone, we got some flint, and um, and you pick up this other crap from regular rocks. Really what we want though is gold. Gold is, is where it's at. Gold can be found in these big ones that have uh, the little streaks of what look like gold in them. Um, Typically, you can find one or two pieces of gold in these big rocks. I once found three. That's, you know, kind of rare, though. Um, you want to try and get as, mu as many rocks as possible and at least ten pieces of gold in your first run. Um, because we're going to need we're gonna need that much gold. <laughs> uh, hell, we're probably going to even need even more. Alright, it's starting to get pretty dark. I'm going to break one more rock and then we're gonna get out of here and we'll set up our new camp. Probably back where we just were before where I said that was a good spot in that little um oh that's that's a tall bird. That's uh that's another enemy to fight and the mushrooms as you can see they sprout up at dusk 
and uh, that's when you can pick them. All right, so let's head back to that little cutoff area, and I can build a, uh, a fire pit, and that can be our main camp. So I just want to say thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, you know, I I like this game a lot, and I, I really like sharing it with you guys. And uh, thanks for to uh, to watch it. Uh, let me know what you think. You know, um, it's a really fun game, and I highly recommend it. And crap, spider! <laughs> just gotta pick up some more poop. Yeah, uh, pick up as much poop as you can. It's probably one of the most valuable things that you can collect. And uh, it it can normally be pretty hard to find, but I made beefalo spawn pretty regularly on this on this map. So we'll um, yeah, I think we'll do it right here. I'll build the fire pit uh, right here. Yeah, and this will be our base. Um, we should only have to deal with the guys coming from one end, and we can set up our science machine back up here. And our science machine is what allows us, it opens up all these new recipes that we can do. Um, so we'll start by refining a few things. We find uh, grass into rope, uh, logs into boards, and stone into cut stone, which is, I guess, blocks. Um, and now we need some more logs so that way we can get, uh, we can make some more boards and we can make a chest and we can store all of our stuff. Um, it's best to cook food because you get more from it, like it does more for your hunger um, and it's it's more likely it can help your health and your sanity if it's cooked. Um, so let's see, what else do we need? We could use a spear, so I'll take this rope and we'll make a spear, so now we have a good weapon. Uh, we'll need to make a log suit, so I'll need to collect some more logs and some more grass. Uh, and a chest. Chest is priority right now. Wow, it's day three already. This is crazy. Um, Alright, so we need to get a, a chest built. So today we're going to focus on getting out there and chopping down as many trees as possible. There's a lot of stuff that we need to build. Uh, right now I'll take a backpack, so this way I can store more things with me while I'm out walking around. So I don't have to leave all this stuff behind, either. Um, and a backpack is, is really good to, uh, you know, to just carry more things. And, uh, make sure to pick up some pine cones and plant trees kinda near your base. Um, so that way once you, when you need logs, you don't have to go too far to get them. Uh, trees are pretty renewable. Also, you want to try and plant pine cones as much as possible because there is like a, a bad guy that you can fight that's like a tree spirit, and you don't plant enough trees, he'll come and attack you. So I'm gonna run back to base real quick. Uh, I just want to plant a couple more of these pine cones so we can get the trees uh, growing faster. So this way, later on, I don't need to go too far to get them. I'm going to use up some of this gold and make a lightning rod. Uh, basically, when it rains, lightning can strike, and that can set things on fire. I also want to set up that trap, and that trap can be used to catch bunnies. Um, and I'll, I'll show you when, when we catch one. So let's go out and uh, some, chop down some more trees. We need as much, as much logs as we can get right now. And of course pine cones too, so we can plant more. So yeah, I think right now I'm just going to focus on uh, chopping down some trees and gathering a few more resources bef before I run out of uh, daylight. I, um, so yeah, as I was saying, I really like this game a lot. I think it's a lot of fun. It's very challenging. It's a lot more fast-paced than, like, Minecraft or something like that. So I, I understand it's not for everyone, but uh, what do you guys think, you know? Ooh evil flowers. I can pick these. I forget what they do exactly. They do something different for, um, than regular flowers. Because, like, regular flowers help your sanity when you pick them. So I don't know if evil flowers maybe lowers my sanity. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of good resources out this way. A lot of grass, a lot of twigs, uh, plenty of flint, and another big rock that we can, uh, chop up. Some more pigmen. Ooh, a basic farm. 
Ooh, pota potato thing. Uh, we're going to need that later on. I'm going to leave it here. Uh, this is a dead body. Sometimes you find dead bodies just out in the world and there's stuff around them. There, that's a grave. You can dig up graves, but you run the risk of summoning a ghost. Uh, typically, I would help the pigmen over, you know, help the pigmen fight spiders, but uh, there was a lot of spiders and only one pigman, so I'm just gonna run away for now. Um, I know we have a, our new spear and everything, but we just, we don't really have great armor. Uh, this grass skirt is kind of crappy. I'll, I'll make some better armor later. But uh, right now I just need enough logs to uh, to make the planks and build a chest. Because like I said, we need storage. We need to be able to store a lot of food and all of our resources and... What the hell? That tree was really weird looking. Did you guys see that? Alright, whatever. Let's uh, let's get back to camp. It's it's dusk right now. It's going to be night time in a couple of seconds. And we're... Here we go. We're right here. That was, that was a little scary, but <laughs> we weren't too far away at all. It's always good to come home after a long day of adventuring, just kind of, you know, feed up around the fireplace and make some more equipment, like a shovel. The shovel's going to be great. I'll, we'll take that out tomorrow, and I'll show you guys how it works. Alright, well, I think we'll call this video for tonight. Uh, I'll just make this chest real quick, and you see how awesome it is. Alright guys, a lot for watching. Um, stick around for episode 2, and let me know what you think. Later.